Welcome. In this video today, we're going to be talking about RISA and Revit structure using the import summary and using the import summary graphical view. So what I'd like to do is take this simple frame here. We can see this is a three-dimensional frame. I can show you rendered what it looks like here. We're just going to start out with this RISA model and send it over to Revit structure to create a brand new model. So I'm going to go to File, Export, and I go over to Autodesk Revit Exchange file. And I'm going to save this model to start here, save that, and then I will save an exchange file. So it will create an exchange file, and it will we'll get here right now. We're going to exchange this over to Revit Structure. So I open up Revit Structure in the background, and I can go to Import, and it will import a new model from Risa. It will be telling you the information here, uh, any of the advanced tools you have, but we're going to be sticking with the general and we're going to click on Browse to find our exchange file. So if I select here uh, my exchange color code.exe, that was the one I just created, and I can see the base file automatically fills out for me. I can do OK, and it will then create my Revit structure model. What you can see is it's creating the families, it's creating all of the different members, columns. We're going to have a status bar here on the bottom telling us when things are happening. In this new version here, only things are being updated, so it's checking for those members. Uh, so in this, what opens up, we get a Risa Revit link report, and if there's any error messages here, we would have seen them. It tells us that there 17 members were added and 13 materials were added to this file. I can say OK, and as behind there, it will create a brand new view called Risa Import Summary. In the three-dimensional view, we see that there's a new listing there. And this is color-coded based on what is new in this model. So this is green, which indicates these are new members. Um, we can kind of look around this model, but it basically is exactly the same model we had. We can look, these are my uh, single angles that we were looking at in the RISA model, as well as some of my wide flanges. So to complete the link, what I'm going to do is save the model and go back over to RISA. So I'm going to go over to the add-ins, and instead of importing, we're going to export this over to Risa. And we're going to create a Risa 3D. Actually, everything is remembered from what we just last did. The exchange file and the Risa 3D file is there. So we just say OK, and it generates this file. It tells us what was exported, 11 beams, 6 columns, 43 materials. So uh, we say OK, and the materials are increased because Revit Structure has some default materials. So we'll come back over here, and we then see that there are some re Revit information on the nodes. It was relabeled, so we, we're seeing that the Revit model is, is brought back in. We can just render this one more time and see what's in this model. Now, we've got some loading in this model, so what we'll want to do is just run an analysis. I'm going to go ahead and say solve the envelope solution, and we're going to run through the solution here. We get the joint reactions. I'm going to close that because what I'm interested in is the design results. So if I open this up, I see what my design results are. It looks like I have some failures on some of my W16 by 40. So those are my beams that are carrying a lot of this load. Looks like they're failing. So what we'll do is we'll use Risa 3D suggested shapes in order to create a, a better design. So I'm going to open up suggested design. And I can see in here I have, instead of W16 by 40s, the program is suggesting that we use W18 by 60s. So I'm going to go ahead and use those suggested shapes only for those. So I'm going to tell the program to uncheck all the other ones just to use these three uh, that have been failing. The other ones look like they're downsizing. So I'm going to leave those, and I'm going to solve again using those suggested shapes. I also see here, let's look at the design results. It looks like I have everything is now passing. So one of the other things I want, might want to do is maybe instead of just a single brace, I might want to add a, an additional brace in this model. So I'm going to go ahead and put in another single angle in the other direction. So we'll use the hot rolls, and I'm going to go ahead and say single angle, and I'm going to select a single angle. We'll pick a 4x4 a four four single angle. I'm going to choose that single angle design list. And one of the most important parts for Revit structure is the type. So I'm going to make sure to call it V-brace or vertical brace. And I, the program will then know how to use that m member in Revit structure. So if you're using columns, beams, or vertical braces, horizontal braces, you'll want to make sure you indicate that in, re in RISA. So I've got that all set. So everything is now running. I'm just going to solve it one more time, make sure that everything is also uh, still OK in my model. We look at the design results, and it looks like everything is just running fine in the model. So what we'll do is save this and we'll export it again over to Revit Structure. So I go to File, 
and I'm going to go to export Autodesk Revit Exchange file. It is important that you save this on top of the existing file. What's going to happen is it's going to merge the information from the previous exchange file. So we can see if we go to Autodesk, we go to back to Revit structure, and in here you can have done any changes to this model, but what we'll want to do is make sure we import from RISA and we'll select out from the this exchange file is already populated for us. So we can say OK and as it will run behind the scenes it will compare anything in my model versus what I might have added or changed in the RISA model. So what it does right here we have a summary telling us that four members were added and three were modified. I'm going to say OK and now in my model it gets color coded so that any additional member is green and then any changed member is yellow and the rest of them are black outlines. So you get to see indi indicated a little bit better information on what was in your model previously and what got changed in the RISA model. So this concludes our presentation for the import summary. Thank you.